and welcome to another Lawn Clippings video by Lawn Fawn. Today is our introduction to our new alphabet set named Quinn's ABCs. We have so many fun things going on over at the blog, lawnfawn.blogspot.com, July 10th through 14th, um, giveaways and fun samples, and so you just have to check it out. Um, but right now we're gonna be talking about this set, Quinn's ABCs. And this set works just like our other alphabets, like Harold's ABCs, Smitty's ABCs, but it's larger scale, which is really fun fun to work with. And so I'm going to kind of show you how these line up. So we're going to go ahead and spell out the word thanks. And so what we're going to do here, we'll just grab our T and then just line that up right on the block. Now the next thing we need to do is just grab our next letter, which is H, and the, all, we're, all we're doing now is just lining those two rectangles up, just like the other alphabets. Now, because these letters are so big, we couldn't give every letter a full rectangle, meaning this little A here isn't, doesn't have the extra rectangle here, but it's still really easy to line up. All you have to do is take the bottom of the letter, because this is a short letter, and line it up with the bottom of the other ones, because it still is a little rectangle around the letter. And so the N, we do the same thing. Just line that up just like that. Now the K, we have a tall letter again, so we can line up the bottom, because the letter extends above. And now the S once again. So it's really easy to take these letters and line them up for whatever you need to spell. So now we're just gonna ink up our, our letters here on our block. Make sure they all have ink on them. And we're gonna just stamp the word thanks right here. So here it is. And um, the great thing about this is you could stamp it in any color. Um, you can also um, color the letters in, um, which looks really, really fun. So there's a lot of really cool things you can do with it. Another really fun thing that you could do is you could stamp each letter individually so that you could kind of get kind of a more whimsical, kind of silly feel, maybe if the card was maybe for a child or something. So let's try that out real fast. So we're just gonna stamp out these letters kind of every which way. Okay, so now we have this all stepped out, stamped out kind of funky and fun. And of course we do have an exclamation point in this set, so I thought it would be kind of fun to add this to this end of this really silly looking one here. So we'll add that right there and it kind of finishes out the whole phrase. So there's definitely really fun ways that you can let, use the letters. Okay, something else really fun that you can do is personalizing things. So you could personalize, you know, a name like name tags or name plates, say for like a dinner, you could do party favors for kids' parties, um, different things for schools, um, or you know, just personalizing a gift for someone. I just love the idea of doing that. And so, um, I thought we'd spell out the name Sarah and then we kind of go over what you do be when you don't have that extra letter. Because here, since the letters are so big, we only have one of each. So, what we do is we just take our S and line that up right here on our block. We'll take our A. Okay, so now we have our S-A-R, and now we need the other A, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the A out of the middle here, because and now that we're gonna have kind of a placeholder there, and we're gonna stick the A right here so we can finish off Sarah. So we've got the A, and then now the H that we're just gonna line up. And so now I thought I'd stamp this out, um, let's say in like a cute pink here, because these are really fun stamped out in colors. Just like this, stamp that. And now we've got that placeholder for the A. So all you have to do is just clean off your letters, take the A and put it on an individual block, just like this. And then you can easily line it up because we left the exact space that is needed. Just like that. So now it was that easy. And really when you're doing it and you're not talking through it like I am right now, it's like bam, 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 done, done, done. It works really, really well. So I love the idea of that. Um, so I thought we would go ahead and kind of color in these letters real fast and kind of just add some color to the page. I always feel a little better when there's some color. So I used some Copic markers, but you could use colored pencils or any markers that you have for this. And I just created like kind of where the darker color was at the bottom and it just kind of gradiates up to lighter on this one in a rainbow scheme. Here, all I did was color it in 
just straight, just blank. And I think that looks really great. I mean, I didn't do any shading or anything like that. So I actually really like that look. And then the one where I stamped in a color, I just left blank because I actually really love the way that looks also. So that's really, really fun. Another great thing to do with these letters other than coloring them in or leaving them just blank like this is to paper piece them. And you could do that with either like a blank, a, a, you know, a, just one colored cardstock or with pattern paper. And so I went ahead and used some really beautiful sassafras paper that had these really great big flowers. Here's what the paper looked like. What I did was I stamped the letters on different parts of the colors. And so you can't actually really tell that it came from flower paper when I lay the letters out, but it has this gorgeous color scheme here. So here are all my little letters. And one thing you can do is when you stamp it out, um, it actually looks really great if you leave the holes sort of plugged up versus cutting them out. It looks great both ways. And what's fun about this is you could take the letters and make them kind of crazy like this, or you could spell them straight out. And they actually look really great with foam adhesive under them. Um, that looks fantastic on a card. And doing this is kind of when they're cut out, it's kind of like creating your own letter stickers. So you can customize your own letter stickers for any project, a card, a layout, you know, a personalized gift bag, anything like that, um, by using cutting these letters out and coloring them or leaving them even white white on the inside or powder papers or colored cardstock. So I love that idea so much. Um, another really fun thing about this set is that it does work along with schoolhouse backdrops. So here um, I'm using this cursive line one here. Now we're just gonna stamp out this nice cursive line from schoolhouse backdrops. And what's great about this is you can just take your letters and line them up right in this. And this makes such a great quick card. You could stamp this along towards the bottom of a card, put your sentiment in there, maybe some gems or, or a little twine or ribbon, and you could be done. Really, really fun. So I thought I'd just actually stamp out um, a word right in there real fast. So why don't we actually just, let's see, we'll stamp out thanks again, since that's kind of been a theme here today. Okay, so I'm going to take this um, nice bright green ink and stamp out our thanks sentiment here and just line it up right here with this cursive block. And I love the idea of this for teacher's notes, especially with these fun letters and, and the kind of cursive outlines. I think it just looks fantastic. And so these letters would look great blank, but then you could also um, fill them in. Too. Okay, so all I did was I just took a marker and just filled it in really fast. And so it kind of gave it a different look by doing that. I also took my pattern paper pieces and I took some rolled up glue dots and put it underneath and, and put that on there. And you can see it with the, with the dimension how cool that looks. And it really does give the feel of letter stickers. And I love the idea of them sort of being able to customize it to exactly match your project. So much fun. So this is Quinn's ABCs. It's really easy to spell things out. We still used our letter system, even though these are large letters. Um, and it's fun for things, um, big sentiments like thanks or hello and things like that. You can stamp them out straight across or individually and you could kind of stamp them kind of wonky like this for a fun look. You can color them in, a, in shadings and gradients with markers and pencils and anything you could think of. You can glitter them. Um, you could use glossy accents on them. I mean, really anything you could think of. Um, and then you can also just use any plain old marker and just color them in plain, just like this. Then you could stamp them in um, colored ink and just leave the white in there, which I think looks great. Another thing that would look amazing would be to heat emboss these, especially with white on a bright colored cardstock. I just love the idea of that. Here we use some pattern paper and then some glue dots to pop them up to really give kind of a fun custom look. And by doing that, by stamping on either a colored cardstock or a pattern paper, you can really customize these letters to work for your project. And here's just showing them working in um, the schoolhouse backdrops. And this is the cursive line from it and they fit perfectly inside and you can spell out just anything. And it's great for, well, any day cards, but really, it looks really good for teacher cards too. And all I did here was just stamp in a color and then color in a lighter color and size, so simple and easy. Um, so that is Quinn's ABCs. And uh, it's just such a fun set. We, um, it's just so much fun to use. We just love it over here. And um, we hope you guys love it too. So thank you so much for watching and make sure to head on over to the blog and check everything out over there. Have an amazing day. Bye.